this is cool right out front. Got Ice Age going on. Very nice, man. This would be interesting also. Let's see, Woolly Rhinoceros. All right, so the building got zoo administration. Do you have restaurant locations? You also have a cafe and guest services. Let's get here early, gonna need some caffeine probably. All right, just outside the main entry building, you got the stroller rental kiosk. There's the pricing. Yeah, so kids can ride around in style on their own animal. All right, first thing, I'm gonna go inside the zoo shop and see about getting a hat. Okay, so I did find a hat that actually says the name of the zoo. But this thing is 37 bucks. And they have a lot of other hats that just have like animals on them that don't even have the zoo name on them. And these start from $22.99 to $24.99. But they also have kid size hats. Hey everybody, Tommy for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And today I'm visiting the Milwaukee County Zoo. You see, I just got my hat at the gift shop. I actually did find one that is an adult size, $24.99. So, uh, try to get hats. If you're not familiar with my, with my channel, I try to get a hat. All the places I go to, it's a little uh, collector's item that I have. I have like, you know, like uh, 200 hats at this point. So, uh, I'm going to show you a little map that they have. Uh, it's a pretty decent sized property. Lots of animals I'm hoping to see. They are expecting a little rain around one o'clock but that's like uh, four hours or five hours from now so hopefully I'll be able to see the majority of the zoo before it rains so I'm gonna show you the map and we're gonna decide which way we're gonna go and get started and inside this tent has the map see it's a good sized property because the train goes all around so I'm at the main entrance there's also a west entrance all right, first up we got Humboldt Penguin. What's up? How you guys doing? Hi, everybody. So used to seeing these guys uh, being black and white, they get kind of a brown and white look to them. Of course, penguins lose all their feathers through a molting each year. See right there, I'm molting. Got playtime for penguins. More work than play. You know, the penguins have the little colored tags on their wings. That's so they can tell them apart. See, the one has orange. This one has blue. Have you ever been to Chile? Our zoo staff has. And where do humble penguins come from? So yeah, these are warm weather penguins. Our next area I'm coming to. Let's be going this way. Alright, here we are. Apes of Africa, primates of the world. Oh wow, this zoo has Boldoramas. I used to collect these when I was a little kid. All the different places I went to. I had like 50 different, different molds. Did you have Western locations right inside the building? Alright, got Western Lowland Gorilla. This is the gorilla's outdoor habitat. I do have one gorilla outside. Munching on something. So you got all these, all these shoots. This give the gorillas more space. Plus they can move the animals around to the different habitats. More information about that. Shoots and ladders, life among the trees. So they also have bonobos here. Staff is in here getting the habitat ready for the animals to come outside. 
Alright, so back inside the building, We've got Tropical Rainforest Hall. So this is nice. So this is going to be where the main exhibits are. So this is the Western Old Land Gorilla's indoor habitat. So what about outside? So we've got another one here. Looks like this one's in here having some breakfast also. See a bunch of romaine lettuce. Oh, there's a second one right there. There we go. Just move it around. Information here, growing up gorilla. If you were a gorilla, you would. So this is a view from the outdoor habitat from inside the building. It's like, where in the world do gorillas live? Now, for the most part, I've only seen Western Lowland Gorilla. I have yet to see a Cross River Gorilla. Also, I've never seen a Mountain Gorilla. And I'm not really sure if I've ever seen an Eastern Lowland Gorilla. These are the gorillas that they have and their names. It's a side view of that one habitat that I showed you inside where they had the romaine lettuce. This is one gorilla right here. Another one in the back. So you're AZA safe. Yeah, Milwaukee County Zoo is a AZA accredited facility. <coughs> Got Bonobo. I apologize for the reflection, the light right above it casts a big glow on it. So this is the Bonobo indoor habitat. Now Bonobos resemble chimpanzees, but they are a different species. They typically have uh, longer legs. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Body size is typically smaller than chimpanzees as well. Moving the way around. Keep their plane following the leader. I'm getting to know the Bonobo. Next area is primates of the world. We do have restroom locations. Oh, we got DeBraza's monkey. Wow. That is a cool looking monkey. This looks like a wild sage right now, right there, just with the, the facial hair. With the white beard and mustache. Cute little baby in there. So I'm going to guess this is the mommy right here. One of my favorites, Golden Lion Tamarids. Golden Lion Tamarids are really cute and fuzzy. Don't see them at the moment though. So it could be this up higher. Or there's an area over here to the left. So if I have time, I will come back. We got black-handed spider monkeys. Got an interesting habitat. We go. It's a cute little monkey. So inside of this building is very nicely decorated. 
Got natural light coming in. All right, got the orangutan. And his name is Tommy. Get the new orangutan, Tommy. And if he were an orangutan, get the new orangutans, Tommy and Alex. So orangutans has outdoor access. This is their indoor habitat. And fun facts about orangutans. More information about Alex or Alexandra. Awesome apes. Next up we got the Eastern Black and White Columbus Monkey. So this is the Columbus Monkey's indoor habitat. And there is a sign here that says Columbus Monkeys are outside. Next up we got Red Rough Lemur. We got two of them in here that I see. All right, we got Samang. <laughs> Get some water. Yeah, it's like a little water bottle that you have in a in a hamster cage. That's where they get their drink. They got a really nice looking habitat. So outside, looking for the Columbus monkey, and I do see, I do see one of them. There we go. Kind of off in the back. So inside that they were outside. And outside there is another Samang. There's a chipmunk. So these guys have all sorts of space outside. In addition to the maps, you do have some signs here with the arrows pointing the different directions of the habitats. So because I went inside the building, there is some stuff here in the front. On the one side I didn't get, so I'm going to head back up front and I can always backtrack. Sign so here, I spy a common peafowl. So that means their peacocks or peafowl are free roaming. So I should see them around the zoo. Alright, so Alex is outside, or Alexandra. So Tommy inside. So this is a smaller female orangutan. So there are several subspecies of orangutan. Where are they? Typically I see Bornean or Sumatran. I've never seen the, the third, because it was recently discovered. All right, see the spider monkeys are outside also. You saw them inside, and you do have access to come and go as you please, inside or outside. The other one just relaxing. We got Japanese macaque. All right, so this is their little island. However, they are not out yet. This is right at the front of the zoo, so I will check back. Welcome to our rain garden. So we'll have some nice yellow flowers. But this is really nice looking during springtime. All right, I told you we're gonna see these birds walking around. This is the male peacock. And then you have one of the females over here and another male. All right, so I backtracked all the way around to the front where I first came in. This pathway is to the right side as you come in. So since I went into the ape building, I might have missed some of the stuff here, so I'm gonna head this way. It's interesting, got some interesting little facts. Now right, we got some flamingos. We got Caribbean and Chilean flamingos. Got pretty in pink. And eat like a bird. Always enjoy the flamingos. If you're not familiar with my channel, flamingos are my second favorite type of bird. 
Just behind the kookaburro. Now that you're gonna watch? Um, I know, no. Wait, this one or this one? So if you sleep like this, one leg. On the pathway, another view of the peafowl or peacock. Got the males with the nice flashy blue, and then the females are the dull brown. You see, the male peacock has lost his tail feathers. They molt those each year and grow back new ones. They grow out their tail feathers during mating season, springtime, and then they lose their tail feathers and they grow them back the next year. Got Japanese koi. Here's the fishies. Now despite what some people think, these are not just large goldfish. These are a carp. Goldfish are also a different type of carp. But it is just a very cool looking large carp. All right, gonna go inside the aviary building. See some birds. All right, gonna go inside this next building. Here we got a Guam Kingfisher. Wow, that's a pretty bird. Very pretty bird. It's a really nice looking habitat. This bird resembles a kookaburra. Very nice. Alright, we saw the African penguins. Now we're going to see the, the cold penguins. Got Gen 2 penguin. And a rock hopper penguin. Yes, these are cold climate penguins. Penguin habits. All right, we're gonna see some Waldrop ibis, Pied imperial pigeon, red-capped cardinal, boat-billed heron, green heron, hammercock, Inca tern, white-bellied stork, blue-crowned motmot, white crested laughing thrush, superb starling, and blue-bellied roller. Yeah, that's a free flight aviary. They also have some ducks in here. Spotted whistling duck, ring teal, lazen teal, marble teal, chestnut teal, mandarin duck, and valkyrie teal. Got the very pretty colored bird here. I very rarely see Waldrop ibis. It's usually scarlet ibis. And I have white ibis in my home state of Florida that I see all over the place. We got some duckies, got some blue bands on them. So inside of this habitat is amazing. Very visually appealing. Birds are everywhere. Oh yeah, I love a good waterfall. Do you eat like a bird? I guess sometimes. And what's for dinner? Mealworms, wax worms, and crickets for dessert. Yummy. Oh. Got a tropical rainforest.
I got some plush crested jay and American oyster eater. Got one of the workers in there. Got the habitat all set for them. Put down some fresh food. All right. The plush crested jay eating the food. Very pretty bird. And the oyster eater is right around the corner. Try to get you a view. Next up, we got green aracari and northern helmeted curassaw. Wow, that curassaw is giant. And a really, really nice habitat in here. I do not see the aracari at the moment, though. So up high, or maybe in that little little house right there. Got a blue gray tanager, turquoise tanager, and a sun bittern. Ooh, it's a sun bittern. That's a pretty looking bird. A couple of the birds up in a tree. Now I cannot guarantee I'm gonna be able to see every type of bird that is listed. I'll do my best. It's a very large zoo, so I might not have time to come back to everything. Got Lozon Bleeding Heart Dove, Shema Trush, Beautiful Fruit Dove. I also have a Greater Malayan Chevrolton and a Peckin' Robin. Birds. I'm not sure if I've ever seen these animals before. Really cute though. Another little birdie. Another bird in the back. Yeah, we got red-billed hornbill, blacksmith plover, hot and hot teal, and white-headed buffalo weaver. Got the cute little ducky in the water. Blacksmith plover. That's a pretty looking bird. Red-billed hornbill. It's also a pretty looking bird. Ooh, we've got its wings open. Next up, we got some lezen teal, crested partridge, Victoria crown pigeon. Victoria crown pigeons are always cool to see. Again, these habitats are gorgeous. It's a lizen teal. And it with me, got a Nakabar pigeon and a belly mine. Oh, there's a really pretty looking bird up here. There we go. That is a pretty bird. <laughs> All right, next habitat we got red and yellow barbet, snowy-headed robin chat, speckled mouse bird, Congo peafowl, and Madagascar teal. Hey, it's a big bird too. All right, I only see two of the birds. So these habitats are absolutely gorgeous. So the other birds are going to be up higher. Right, we've got red-billed hornbill and crocodile bird. Wow. Those are cool looking birds. All right, next up we've got the African savannah. Our next habitat, you got Cape Thick Knee and Speckled Mouse Bird. Also in here, you got Golden Breasted Starling and Crocodile Bird. It's a nice looking habitat. It's like majority of the birds are hiding. Because the only thing I see right now is a Cape Thick Knee.
Next up, you got the shoreline. Got bufflehead, black neck stilt, and American advocate. It's like the black neck stilt because they got those super long legs. It's also a very nice looking habitat. Cute little ducks. Information about migration. Last area up is the islands. You got red crested cardinal, common moon wren, spangled cottinga. Also got punta teal and a saffron finch. That's a very nice looking habitat. Pretty colored bird. Got a masked lapwing and a tawny frogmouth. Also fantastic habitat. Is the masked lapwing. And tawny frogmouth is all the way over on the right hand side. Completely missed them and another person pointed them out. Last up you got an actress cornbill. Wow. It's a quiet zone, you're not supposed to be making that kind of noise. Wow, you have such beautiful birds. So cool. Next up, we got the Wong family pheasantry. All right, we got whooping crane. Yeah, these are gorgeous birds. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And they do make a loud uh, whooping sound. Whooping cranes are currently threatened. Got migration. What a long, strange trip it's been. All right, after coming out of the Avery area, the Japanese macaques are out. Here we go. Glad I got to see them. They are super cute. Got two little macaques were just hanging out there. This little cave. Do you have a brand new attraction? Gorilla Trek VR Theater. This is an upcharge. See Macaque Island. See all these habitats and exhibit areas have names of people that have donated a significant amount of money to fund that particular habitat. Just like right there, the Otto Borchett family special exhibits building. So this is where the VR is. Sorry about the high end. He just turned around. All right, so show you the map again. See right where I'm at. I did all this yellow building. I'm gonna head over here to fish, frogs, and snakes, and work my way around. Main it. Habitats are going to be down in the lower portion. Alright, so I backtracked to where I came out of the primates of the world. And now I'm going to be heading this way. Alright, next up I'm going to go inside the Aquarium and Reptile Center. Alright, first up we got Grand Cayman Blue Iguana. Very cool looking habitat. Iguana is right down here in the water. So you got that bluish tinge to them. Aquarium tank here, we got California sheep's head. A couple other various fish in here. Rock stars of the Pacific. Creating a sea of change. Always cool when a zoo has an aquarium also. It's like you're getting two attractions in one. Mm -hmm. 
Got a giant Pacific octopus. It's a big giant anemone down here and a starfish. There's the octopus. Yeah, that's a smaller one than I normally get to see. It's still really cute. It's Got snakes in the Amazon, green anaconda, and red tailed boa. That big squeeze. Amazing anacondas. Anacondas are usually in the water. Is a big snakey. Really big snake. Jeez, he's just got his nostrils sticking up. Got snakes from Indonesia. Camera python, green tree python, and red tailed rat snake. This cool snake here on the bottom. Got the other ones. Very nice, man. If you like snakes. Got a Chinese alligator. Chinese alligator habitat. And there we go. Partially under the rock. You're gonna have your snout sticking up out of the water. Next habitat area is called the mighty Amazon. I guess it's a giant Amazon river turtle. Ancient uh, Amazon. There's fish finder. There, there's sort of fish in here. See the silver arowana back there. On a turtle. Fish and clouded archer fish. Archer fish. Dragon gobby. Got Amazon milk frogs. Just right here. And another one right up above. All right, next up we're going to see some red bellied piranha fishing the other Great Lakes. Let's see a fly river turtle. You got the cichlids of Africa's Lake Victoria. So yeah, cichlids come in many, many different sizes and colors. There we go. There is the turtle. Yeah, lots and lots of fish. And the red belly piranha are off on the one side. I can take another one. Like the way their their scales shimmer with the light. All right, West African gaboon viper. 
Gaboon Viper is my favorite type of snake. This is just a West African version. Got Wisconsin snakes, Eastern Fox Snake, and Eastern Masanada. Yep, see the one snake. Right, we got the Gila Monster. <laughs> So Gila Monster is kind of hiding in the back. I can kind of see him. There we go. Also got a common Chuck Walla. I see two of them. Next we got an Eyelash Viper. And here with me got a red-tailed boa. Eyelash vipers are just beautiful looking snakes. And there's the other snake. There we got a black tree monitor. King Cobra. The six are incredibly long. Long, slender snake. And a false water cobra. Very nice looking. A spider tortoise. Very cool looking habitat. The spider tortoise is right in the back. Yeah, very nice looking. All right, we've got rhinoceros viper. Very nice looking habitat. I see two of them. One here near the bottom. Another one off to the side. Wow, very nice looking coloration. Oh, we got Eastern Hellbender. See, this is this is uh, this is the Hellbender right there. The majority of them is hidden. Oh, we got poison frogs. I just love the coloration on these guys. These are green and black poison frogs. Oh my gosh, we got a Brazilian black tarantula. Woo -wee, that's a big tarantula. And of course, you're going to have Lake Wisconsin. Lots of different types of fish that live in Lake Wisconsin. All right, showing the map again. See where I am with the star. I just got the fish, frogs, and snakes building. Gonna go see the small animal building. Move away around to Otter Passage and then start seeing all the other stuff down below. All right, we got Wild Burger, Milwaukee. There's the street menu board. Again, I apologize for the reflection. Just to the left of that, you got Woody's Custard. All right, just got my refillable drink bottle for $7.49, free refills throughout the day. Next up, we got the Small Mammals building. We got Small Mammals, different as night and day. All right, first up, we got ring-tailed lemurs. So I am looking and looking and looking. So the lemur's got to be inside this little carrier because I do not see uh, in here. Oh, we got golden lion tamarin. Yeah, this right here is not a golden lion tamarin. 
Have yeah, every gold mine Samaritan is right there. Oh, looking right at me now. So why are you looking at me? Then we got a Prevo squirrel. Like the habitat. And there's a little squirrely. Very pretty looking squirrel. Alright, we got Hoffman's two toed sloth and Agati. Trying to see the sloth. Down below for the Agati. What someone just said, these used to be the otter habitat. And you can still see the water line. I see the sloth all the way in the back, up on a ledge. There's a second sloth in this little box. All curled up having a nap. Right, we also have a cotton top tamarin. I actually saw the cotton top tamarin in with the uh, other tamarin, the golden lion tamarin. Then we got a Goldie's monkey. So that's a nice looking habitat. And there he is up there in the top. Lunch on something. Oh, second one. We got dwarf mongoose. Oh my god, so cute! stuff to play with in here. So it looks like a meerkat. Next up, animals of the night. So I am a straw-colored fruit bat. I absolutely love the look of bats. They got the cute little fuzzy head. So these animals are vilified in, in movies. Like they're just gonna come and suck your blood, you know, bite your neck. Give thanks to bats, here's why. You got common vampire bat. These are usually the kind of people are afraid of. This is the They wrap themselves all up in their wings, hang upside down. Here's information on why they hang upside down. Got a pygmy slow loris. It is very dark in there. You do have red light shining. You got three banded armadillo. There are lots of different varieties of armadillos. Most zoos have the three banded armadillo, but I actually got to see a six banded armadillo just the other day. We got a prehensile tailed porcupine. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There's three of them there. Got a baby with him also. Armadillo is also in there running around. Has access to go over here, visit the, the porcupines. Got Fennec Fox. Alright, I'm looking for the Fennec Fox. This other part of our habitat, but has access to go in the back there. Got a Senegal bush baby. There's two of them. See the one up on the branch. There we go. Head up in the back. Put it by the box. All right, so I'm back outside. Gonna continue on. All right, so showing the map again. I'm right by the west entrance. Gonna go check out Otter Passage before I start moving down to the other areas. Here we go, Otter Passage. All right, North American River Otter. Got a water view of the otter habitat. Let's see if I get to see them. Otterly fantastic swimmers. And in the corner I see the otter. Not currently in the water. Hanging off to the side, relaxing. But yeah, otter habitat is absolutely fantastic. Again, it's the west entrance, so they're gonna have their own gift shop. They do have restrooms. Oh, they got west end snacks. Just small stuff to get. We got the red nose caribou. Yep, reindeer and caribou are the same animal. All right. There's some big antlers. Really cool looking animal. Oh, we got caribou. Cool stuff to know about elk and caribou. Across from them, you got the beer garden. All right, we saw the caribou, now we're going to see some elk. This is the elk habitat. I was looking all over, expecting them to be standing up somewhere. They're actually right here. Up nice and close. There's two of them. So much they blend in. Almost didn't see them. What's up, sweetie? And there's a third one, just a little further to the right of them. Never by the water. I see a fourth elk. All right, we got black-tailed prairie dogs. So looking around, I don't see the prairie dogs out, but I do see a chipmunk ever eating the prairie dog's food. Very opportunistic critter. So if I have time, I will try to come back. All right, we got grizzly bear. 
Fantastic habitat. Look at that size and them paws. Wowee. Also known as the brown bear. We got brown bear. See the bear in the water. Bears love the water. This habitat's fantastic. Got a waterfall, a little stream coming down. You see there are many different subspecies of brown bear. Grizzly bear and Alaskan brown bears. All right, we got American badger. This is the badger habitat. One thing I see in here is a uh, peacock. But this is the badger habitat. And I do see the doorway for the indoor habitat is open, so that's going to be where the badger is. Got Trevor Swan. Got this really nice looking lake. It's a trumpet or swan are around here somewhere. I don't see the swans, but I see lots of Canada geese. Now we got Nourish 414. Is there a menu board? We do have indoor seating and restrooms. Right outside, you got the coop food truck. This is what they've got. They also have outdoor seating. All right, we got harbor seals. Here we go, harbor seal. Yay. Just chilling that off to the side. So yeah, these guys got plenty of water. All right, they got another grizzly bear habitat over here. Grizzly bears up there in the little hammock. 